What's up guys, my name is Jordan Oliver Newsom. I'm a uh, video game design student at Full Sail University and this is my bachachka on, uh, we'll say it's called the car community or how, how some people in the car community come about their cars. Now, this is really bad, not good. Very sad day indeed. Um, but I will say for me, before I start my actual Pekakucha or Pachachka, or I'm not really sure how to say it, but for me before, even at a young age, I got into cars, uh, pretty much just race, like watching NASCAR races on TV. Then, you know, it became, oh, let me go buy a Hot Wheel and then I'll explain the Hot Wheel situation later, but that's how I came into my cars. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about, I guess, the stance car community or the car community that mods their cars in a visual aspect rather than performance and all the other, all the other different kinds. You know, you got audio, performance, uh, aesthetics so we're different but for me i'm just going to explain where i'm coming from on my aesthetic portion of the car scene so for me it started with a accident with another car uh, a friend of mine actually rear-ended me at a rear at a red light and damaged my car uh i then came into some money not a great way to come into money, but you know, before that happened, this is what the car looked like. And you know, I actually took um, ideas from this picture. I went home, I thought, man, I'm tired of the car looking like this. It's stock, I just bought it. So I painted the engine bay partially blue. Um, and then you added the blue lug nuts. You can't really tell that they're blue though, but added the blue lug nuts down at the bottom, uh, or not at the bottom, but in the wheel. Got tired of the wheels and the hood. Went and painted the hood black, painted the wheels white. Turned out to be a mistake. There's certain mistakes that you can fix and certain ones that you can't. We had spray painted the wheels white had to sell the wheels because I had to sell the wheels you know you buy these but this is also a mistake because fake parts break hearts so to speak in the car community that's a funny thing but you get stuck with fake wheels later that night I actually blew a tire and slammed into the wall and broke those wheels and then about two months later I traded the broken wheels for a $400 set of truck wheels that I put on a import car. It was very frowned upon, but I don't think it was a mistake. I did something even more drastic. I changed my hood and, you know, just trying to modify cars for me is a, a, an escape from reality. That's why I feel most people do it. Uh, but, you know, I didn't stop there. My living room, actually, if you're any car guy, your living room at some point probably looks like this or looked like this at, at some point. Uh, you know, it goes without saying everything we do is planned. It's a conceived idea and then becomes a reality and wastes too much money. But from visuals, any visual car guy that goes to car shows will say the wheels make the car. So you spend months and months trying to figure out what wheels you want to get. You spend way too much money on wheels and then, you know, a rock comes up or something happens on the road and your wheels get messed up. But before that, hopefully before that, I've had many of friends with other cases, but before that you try to take it to as many shows as you possibly can. And you try to get awards, you try to have fun, meet people, 
That's what the whole whole idea is, is just to go out and meet people. But or you know, this picture here, I was actually doing a photo shoot with a friend of mine. I just trying to, you know, learn a new trade. Um, another show, Spring Fest, 2017. Just car hadn't changed for a while though, and it got to a point where it's very frustrating. If you're a visual guy, the car will never sit very long. Back to the Hot Wheels. Um, you just you can buy a Hot Wheel car. If you're a car guy, it's gonna change. You're gonna go buy sandpaper. You're gonna go buy paint. You're gonna change it. You're gonna make it unique, and you bring your personal your personality out within the car. And that's why I stanced my car. Um, a stance is, you know, there's all types of different stances. This is, you know, camper. <laughs> uh, adding, trying to go for a fitment. And fitment is, you know, the, I guess, how well your wheels fit the car. But eventually you get tired. So I went out and bought another car. It's a whole process repeats itself. Yeah. Whole process repeats itself. You start over from scratch. You got one car that's broken. <laughs> or not really broken, but not running, not drivable. So you go buy another car. And you start working on it, trying to get it drivable. Mind, that, mind you, car guys and car people never have any spare money. It's always gone. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I spent money, again, on a drift car, which is, that's what this was supposed to be, uh, and still is. But, you know, you can't, like I said, you try to bring your personality out in your own cars and bring them from zero to hero, so to speak. Uh, and just try to make new friends, try to learn something from people you meet, take them to shows, take them to competitions, learn how to paint, learn what to do, what not to do, learning experience for sure. But it's not, um, it's not the worst learning experience to have. It is a very expensive experience to have. And if you don't have money just sitting around, I don't suggest trying to modify a car. But I hope that was somewhat informative. I really do. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.